Good morning. It is book review time. So the book that I'm going to be speaking of is from a new author. His name is Joseph D. Niermeyer, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'd, I'd asked him <laughs> just to, to make sure that I was getting the right, um, the right way to say it, or at least close. Uh, so I believe it's Niermeyer. Uh, the book, again, it's called Seven Days, and I have the Kindle version of it. Uh, if you have Kindle Unlimited right now, you can get the book for free and read it for free. Uh, if you do not have Kindle Unlimited, uh, but you get a digital copy, it'll be $4.99. And if you would like the paperback, uh, that that is coming up as $13.99. And, and I've got the book uh, here from, from Amazon. And... I don't know the best way to really do a book review um, because I, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. So I figured as far as telling you about the content of the book, I would just read you the synopsis. I figure that's the best way to go about it so that way I don't put any big spoilers out there because I, I will. Um, but before we get to that synopsis, I just want to say that I really take my time when I read books and it's because my favorite part of reading books is visualizing being in that particular situation. Now, I'm sure that's probably why a lot of people that read books like to read them. I couldn't tell you. I can only speak for myself. Um, I'm a speed reader. I read at an incredibly fast rate and uh, when I when I read a novel... I will literally, first off, I'll shut off the world <laughs> in my head. I'll shut off the world. And I focus as much as I possibly can. And I take my time. And I make sure that I, I catch every single word, uh, every, every little bitty detail of the way things are phrased. Uh, because I normally don't do that. If I'm, if I'm reading anything else other than a novel, I speed read. And my mind automatically just throws stuff out that really doesn't need to be there for me to understand what it says. I, I don't know. I, I've been a speed reader. I didn't do anything to become a speed reader. I just, it's just something that I've always done. And, well, pretty close to always. I think, uh, I, I, I can remember, I think around fifth or sixth grade, is where it kind of started to dawn on me that my my reading skills were a little above average. So, and I'm <laughs> saying that as humble as I can, but yeah. Um, if I recall correctly, I think in the fifth or sixth grade, uh, I think was when I was told that I, I had a, a, a college level reading skills. So, yeah, it is what it is. Um, the book is absolutely incredible. Let me read you the synopsis, and then I will go into my deeper thoughts on this. So again, the book Seven Days by Joseph D. Niermeyer, and the synopsis says this. After being launched from their container ships in the Gulf of Mexico, the three specially calibrated nuclear warheads carried a Shahab three ICBMs detonated in space at 10.58 a.m. directly over Utah, Kansas, and West Virginia. For a fraction of a millisecond, the late morning October sky brightened the event over which so quickly it was basically imperceptible from the ground. With a loud snap, the century-old chunk of an oak Jethro J.T. Clark was working on exploded as the hydraulic pressure of the wood splitter finally overcame the incredible tensile strain of the ancient log, sending a cloud of superfine dust from a termite nest into his face. Walking away from the splitter, J.T. looked at the southern sky, wiping the fine dust from his nose and eyes with his ever-present blue shop rag. When, for just an instant, the sky appeared to brighten. What the hell was that, he said to himself. His vision blurry from the dust, J.T. looked at the rag in his hand, then smelling it, he immediately picked up the putrid scent of carburetor cleaner, quickly dismissing the event as being nothing more than him inadvertently getting a nose full of the harsh chemical cleaner. 
Little did JT know what he had witnessed would ultimately end up being anything but nothing. So that's the synopsis that is on Amazon. And again, I'm going to do my best because I don't want to spoil anything in the book. Uh, and there are some kind of inside things with this book that, that for myself makes it extra cool for me. Uh, first up, I've known this, this uh, gentleman for, I'm thinking it's been a few years or so, I think. I, um, I ran into him in a author's group on Facebook. And um, and he was he was somebody that um, just participated in the group. Uh, he would post um, he would post um, about news about current events going on, and he always had such an incredible insight on the different things going around in the world uh, that I made sure to be able to catch when he when he write his little blurb about what was going on. I'd make sure I'd catch it because. He was, he was spot on. He was always spot on. Um, and he approached everything with a level head. And, you know, he wasn't one of those running around with his hair on fire kind of folks. Um, just an incredible, incredible man, incredible human being. Uh, so, again, I, I do know the author. Um, and the cool thing is, I'll tell you about the little inside cool thing. There are uh, things in the book that had really went on in his in his life um okay this this probably isn't um uh, too bad uh there's a pickup truck in the book uh and he's he's got to do some work to the pickup truck and <laughs> the the cool thing is is i can remember when he was making posts on Facebook talking about doing these tru- uh, things to the truck and posting the pictures of doing it and stuff like that. So it's really kind of cool uh, to have read that stuff in the book and recalling him actually doing it in, in real life. So that that's kind of a little cool added feature for myself. But uh, And I get most people won't, <laughs> won't have that same experience. Um, the book... It is literally, I think it's the best book in in the genre. I really do. And the reason why I say that, because there's no Superman moments in it. You know, there are a lot of good authors in the genre. And I'm talking about folks like uh, William Forston, the One Second After series. Of course, Angry American writes a good book, right? The Going Home or the Survivalist series. And of course, I'm also a fan of Franklin Horton. And he's got the Locker 9 series. He's got the Borrowed World series. And those two I absolutely love. He's got a Mad Mick uh, series. That gets a little far out there in fantasy land for me. Uh, and then he's got one... Uh, I don't know if he's going to continue with them or not, but he started writing books uh, about child trafficking and stuff. And I, again, I, I can't go there. Uh, and, I, and I'll say it again. I question people that do. I, I really do. Because who in the hell would want to read that kind of stuff? And then on top of that, uh, who in the hell would feel right about profiting off of stuff like that? To me, it's not a good look. But we're not here to talk about those books. But I want to make it very clear that as far as when it comes to realism, without a doubt, hands down, this is the best book I've read in the genre. Uh, There is, again, no Superman moments. There's not. Everything's all very realistic. The reactions are very realistic. Uh, And the scenes, if you will, are well thought out, very well thought out. The structure of the book, you know, how would you say this? Just how it was written, how he takes you through the different different scenes and and the order of of that and all of that. Again, I don't want to give anything away. It was it was very entertaining. And there was a lot of those moments to where you like. You'll get to the end of a chapter or 
end of a part and then it immediately go into something else with someone else and it leaves you wondering wait a minute what <laughs> what the hell's going on here and then of course it'll pick back up later on in the book and uh, it's just a really nice touch I, I like that I like the style I absolutely love the writing style so when it comes to this book would, would I recommend it oh yeah absolutely this is a must read but I do have a caveat and because there's a lot of, you know not necessarily a lot but there's people out there that this is a very very big deal I'm not one of them uh, there are spelling errors and stuff in the book uh, if you look at reviews and stuff um, you know there are people that point that out there are people that that's an absolute deal breaker uh, me I don't care <laughs> I could care less I mean to me reading a book it's it's supposed and this is my opinion it's supposed to be about the content of the book right I'm certainly not going to pick apart an author for things that might be misspelled or something that wasn't quite worded right uh, to me that's not an issue at all but I wanted to say that because you know the last thing that that I want is uh, either to somebody to come back to me and say, you know or leave him a bad review uh, because because of it it's it kind of is what it is uh, he did not intend to be an author. <laughs> it was not. He didn't dream of being an author. He he wrote a little bit. Well, I can't say he didn't dream, but because uh, I don't know that. But I know that it was kind of an, in a sense, kind of an accidental thing, um, because he had been writing on a, a story, and uh, and I, it was just kind of one of those little side project things, I believe. And, uh, and people kept egging him on. And, uh, you know, hey, do you, you really need to do this. You really need to do this. And so he finally gave in, and he completed the book, and, of course, released it. And, like I said, it's, it's incredible. It is, it is the most realistic, most based book that I've read in the genre. Hands down. Um not going to be any Superman moments. So if you if, if you need Sarge with the entire damned army coming in with choppers, well, at least up to this point, you're not going to get that. And, and I commend Joe for that. Because, you know, yeah, that stuff is entertaining. But after it starts to get way far out there with stuff, then anymore it's just like, that's that's... I don't want these kind of books to just be entertaining. I, it just, it's the way I feel about it. I think that these books need to have enough realism to them that they could actually help people. That, that is one of the things that I actually did like about the, the Going Home and the Survivalist series with the uh, Angry American. Because uh, there's a lot of useful, helpful information in there. And so that's why I still will, will speak on his books, uh, regardless of the Superman stuff, uh, because there's a lot of useful information in there. I couldn't recommend Seven Days from Joseph D. Niermeyer enough. I can't. It's really good. But if you're going to get hung up, on a misspelled word here or there, maybe something that, you know, as far as the delivery wasn't quite clear or whatnot, then please don't leave my bad review. If, if, you, if you read it uh, anyway, please don't leave my bad review. This is his first book, and it was kind of one of those deals to where kind of a last-minute thing, get it done and get it out kind of thing, because there were a lot of people pressuring him. <laughs> And uh, and I couldn't wait till I uh, till I was able to get it. It, it took a little while, like, like I said, it, it released on September fifth. You see right here, I didn't get it until December twentieth. So uh, yeah, um, unfortunately, that's that's the way it goes. I you know just couldn't I couldn't afford to get it. But uh, fourteen days, I do believe the uh, sequel. I do believe is, is going to be out before too awful long. 
Uh, I think they were kind of finished. He was kind of finishing up stuff on it. So I hope so because this book is absolutely incredible. Uh, I I will say this with without giving anything away. The I hate getting to the last chapter of a book for many reasons. For one, the book's about over, and I wish they were forever books, you know. <laughs> Um, and the other reason why I dread last chapters is because of uh, cliffhangers. <laughs> and uh, and I'll say this much. Uh, I read it, the last chapter, and I'm sitting there, and I'm going, great, 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 he's not going to leave me hanging on something. Great. And like literally in like the last couple of sentences in the book, <laughs> But I'm not going to say anything more than that. Um, and then, you know, it is, uh, and it is incredible. It is incredible. Well, I, what I will say about the, the cliffhanger at the end, uh, without giving it away, uh, it's not the typical cliffhanger that you see in a lot of these books. Because uh, a lot of them will involve fighting or something like that. And uh, and this isn't. This, this is something very different. And I'm not going to give it away. Um, but very different. Much more realistic in my opinion. And um, it just... I can't give it away. But it was ended very well. Very well. And I'm incredibly thankful that there's going to be at least a second book in the series. Uh, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. This entire book covers the span of seven days. Of course, that's the name of the book. And, again, the detail, the realism, is absolutely top-notch. Um, what more can I say? It's, it's a good book, and I highly suggest folks read it. Uh, once again, now put it back up on the screen here. Um, if you have... Uh, oh, it already is. Sorry. <laughs> it already is. Um, if you have Kindle Unlimited, right now you can read it for free. Uh, if you do not have Kindle Unlimited, you can purchase it for $4.99. And if you prefer the paperback, it is uh, $13.99. So, it's an incredible read, folks. I, I would urge people to read it. It is really, really good. Well, I mean, um, just to kind of give you an idea here, um, he's got a 4.4 out of 5 on his reviews. Or uh, 4.3, sorry, it says 4.3 here. Well, oh, that's Goodreads. Goodreads is 4.3. Uh, Amazon's 4.4 4. uh, and 674 ratings on Amazon and I assume 309 ratings on Goodreads so yeah that's pretty awesome that is pretty awesome especially for a first book so again I, I want to highly encourage people to check this one out this one is absolutely well worth it so that's what I got for you and uh, as soon as the other one comes out and I read it, I'll see you back for another review. Shalom.